On the island of Sodor, Sir Topham Hatt's engines always look forward to Halloween. On the last day of the month, they gather at Knapford Station for the party. The station is decorated with carved jack-o'-lanterns. Children dress up in costumes. And the fireworks display is the engine's favorite part. They also enjoy Edward's spooky tales. They all gather at Tidmouth Sheds, and Edward stands on the turntable to tell his story. Have you thought of a story yet? Yes, I have. Here it goes. Many years ago, there was a Caledonian engine he looked very similar to Donald and Douglas. This engine had no name. He was simply referred to as his number, which was 17591. He was to be working on the Northwestern Railway for only a few weeks. It was the 31st of October, 1920. The engine was taking some trucks filled with scrap. At the end of the train there was a rusty tender which looked almost identical to his. He left his train where it was supposed to be and backed into a siding for a short rest before traveling back to Wellsworth. Little did he know he would never depart for the journey back to Wellsworth or anywhere else for that matter. He soon dozed off. Nobody can quite explain what happened next. The cutter came out with his equipment. He was to scrap the rusty tender. However, because of the thick fog, he couldn't see the rusty tender. He only saw a tender that belonged to a Caledonian engine with the numbers 17591 on his side. He walked over to the engine, who was still sleeping. He turned his torch on. When the engine woke up, he found himself amongst the piles of scrapped engines, just in time 
to see his broken up tender be pushed into the smelter's shed. He was then left to rust there for always and always and always. Over the years, there have been countless sightings of an engine with no tender roaming the rails of several scrapyards on the mainland and Sodor. To this day, he is still looking for his tender in which he will never see again. The engines looked horrified. A few moments later, the fat controller finished having a talk with the workmen and walked out of a small building to the sheds. Good evening, engines. The Halloween party will start at Knapfords within an hour. However, I still need Jock, Thomas, and Percy to go collect scrap from the smelter's yard. Percy was very reluctant to go to the scrap yard. On Halloween night? Oh, don't worry. You'll be able to make it back before the fireworks start. Percy is not worried about missing the fireworks. He's a scaredy engine. I am not. But he was a little. At the scrapyard, the three engines pushed and pulled trucks into several trains. All poor Percy could think about was Edward's ghost story. Thomas knew Percy was nervous, so he teased him even more. What's that up there? Is it a spook? It's just a piece of twisted metal, isn't it? <laughs> Duck didn't agree with Thomas's teasing. He pulled up next to Percy. Nobody is brave all the time, but I'm not a scaredy engine. Soon, the manager spoke to the engines. Well done, but I'll need one engine to finish hunting trucks into their proper sidings. Duck wanted to pay Thomas back for teasing Percy. Please, sir, I'm sure Thomas wouldn't mind staying to finish up. Of course not. I'm not a scaredy engine. With that, Duck and Percy left with their freight cars. Thomas was now all alone. He looked around the smelter's shed. Well, I better finish shunting. Nothing I can't do. Thank you. 
so Thomas did so, but he soon began to feel uneasy. Every shadow and every sound was rather spooky. There's no such thing as ghosts. Who's there? I think every engine knows of my tale, and who I am. Duck and Percy were waiting at Crosby Station for Thomas to catch up. Percy was feeling much better. It was very naughty of Thomas to tease you, Percy. He was only playing. Although, I hope he hurries up. He's after me! Well, I don't think he'll be late. Percy and Duck chuckled as they headed out of the station to Knapford. They reached their destination. The fireworks would be starting any time now. Percy looked around the station. Thomas was nowhere to be seen. Where's Thomas? He'll miss all the fun. Well, being stuck in the shed would serve him right after all his teasing. But Percy was still worried. He went to look for his friend. At Tidmouth, he found Thomas all alone in the sheds.
He rolled next to him. Are you all right, Thomas? I have no idea. I may or may not have seen Edward's ghost. I'm sorry I teased you, Percy. Duck was right. We all feel scared sometimes. And we all need forgiveness sometimes. Besides, I'm sure your mind was playing tricks on you, just like you were doing with me. Come along, Thomas. Thomas and Percy arrived at Knapford just in time for the fireworks to go off. The two engines watched as they flew high into the night air. But if Thomas's mind wasn't playing tricks on him, then who did he spot at the end of the smelter's shed? <laughs> 